Here's another picture of a uterus. Notice that this area here is the myometrium. This little slit may be the remnant of an endometrial cavity, which has been kind of compressed by these nodules that you see here and here and here and here and a larger one here and a much larger one here. And like we said before, any rubbery nodule within the myometrium is a leiomyoma until proven otherwise. So let's prove it otherwise. We know this looks nice and normal and uniform, but look at some of these nodules are hemorrhagic. Some uh, show a kind of a cystic degeneration. Perhaps an area like this may be necrosis. We don't really know, but even if a leiomyoma looks textbook normal, I, and even if there's many of them, you should still do a representative sampling just to make sure that they are all leiomyomas. So let's take a little microscopic view. Here is the cut section. Here in, is an area of normal uh, myometrium because it looks like absolutely classical, normal, smooth muscle cells. You can see up here, they're nice and spindly. But the main thing I want you to notice is in this high power view, we could go to 10 or 20 fields and maybe see zero or maybe one mitosis. There aren't any. And in addition, they have plenty of cytoplasm. If we move to one of those nodules that looked funny, on the gross specimen, we could see that they may show some kind of semblance to smooth muscle, but their nuclei are a lot bigger compared to their cytoplasm compared to the normal smooth muscle or the surrounding smooth muscle. And notice we have a feature, what we call pleomorphism and hyperchromasia. But I have already told you that pleomorphism and hyperchromasia don't mean a damn thing when it comes to evaluating smooth muscle tumors. The only important thing, and usually the only important thing in connective tissue tumors in general, are mitotic figures. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. And I wouldn't bet my life on this, but it could be. So in this one field, we have three, maybe four, or maybe another one here. Maybe another one here. Mitotic figure, probably one here. Whenever you see increased mitoses in soft tissue tumors, especially leiomyomas, that's the single number one criteria for making them uh, malignant. Let's move to another random field, like we just did over here. Here's one. Probably here is one, possibly here is one, and uh, there's a couple of candidates, but I'd rather not st let's stretch my neck out. Let's go to another random area. Here's a mitotic figure. But even if you saw only one mitotic figure in every field, and you added up 10 fields, and you got three, five, six, seven, ten, you're dealing with the leiomyosarcoma, because I can promise you if you went to this normal smooth muscle here and counted 10 fields, you would never get more than zero, maybe one. Uh, so this is a leiomyosarcoma by the usual uh, criteria. And because there's another feature in here that is not the most important feature, but here's the normal smooth muscle. Here's some more normal smooth muscle. Here's the leiomyosarcoma. And in addition, there's one other feature here that's common with many, many uh, tumors, benign and malignant, but generally more so with malignant. You see an area of tumor where you can't really make out the uh, configurations of the cells too well. Maybe here you can, but maybe here they're all ghosted. That's necrosis. Thank you very much.